Bentornati. Stasera ho preparato la live dopo il finale della scorsa, che ovviamente aveva anche una piccola bugia all'interno. Purtroppo molto piccola. Sapete benissimo che in questo progetto le bugie ci saranno fino alla fine, anche se The Best Already Came, no? anche se Guns of the Patriots è finito, anche se la cronologia della Metal Gear Saga ha esposto la sua fine dinanzi a noi tutti insieme. Ancora, qualche piccola bugia c'è. Quella della scorsa serata è che c'è davvero ancora da vedere molto su The Phantom Pain, anche tecnicamente, cronologicamente successivo a quell'evento, a quella scena. Solo che quella scena non è fissa nel tempo, non è qualcosa che accade specificatamente in quel dato momento della partita, perché è opzionale. Quindi effettivamente puoi vederla anche dopo quasi ogni cosa, ecco, mettiamola così. Quindi la bugia è solo molto piccola. Quindi per cui ho cominciato la live di stasera con un peso sul cuore, che non pensavo di sentire, sono molto 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 carico, diciamo che queste dirette finali della Metal Gear Saga... Questo avvicinarci alla fine di questo enorme progetto mi sta dando una forma di aspettativa enorme. È il primo grande progetto che faccio su Sutorima, ma in un certo senso sarà sempre in cima a una classifica imbattibile. Non esiste un'altra saga ad oggi, nella mia attuale età, che io voglia condividere, possa condividere in questo modo. Ci sono close seconds, no? Vicini secondi, ma... No. Quindi... C'è molta aspettativa, ma mi è venuto anche peso al cuore. Ne riparleremo. Ne riparleremo. Cominciamo col trailer di stasera. Un nuovo rewatch, parte di quello che è il progetto finale di questa avventura. Quindi una certa frase appare a schermo, una canzone che ormai conoscete tornerà nelle vostre orecchie e ricordi. E quindi, ragazzi... Il Phantom Pain si avvicina. Standing on the edge of the crater Like the prophets once said And the ashes are all cold now No more bullets And the embers are dead Whispers in the air Tell the tales of the brothers gone Desolation, devastation What a mess we made when it all went wrong Watching From the edge of the circus For the games to begin Gladiators draw their swords From their ranks for Armageddon I'm
Bearing them at sea. What then? We'll make diamonds from their ashes. We'll take them into battle with us. A shining light to our brothers in arms. Even in death. We are diamond dogs. avete già visto quindi intanto <ride> ringraziando Dario per il raid che è venuto nel momento peggiore possibile perché non c'ero abbiamo visto questo trailer dopo tutto quello che abbiamo vissuto immagino che alcuni di voi quelli blind chiaramente potranno farsi domande diverse da quelle che si sono fatti la prima volta prima era speculazione immaginazione, aspettativa, pathos, hype e ovviamente appunto tutto quello che riguarda qualcosa che apparentemente non è stato o non sembra sarà come si presumeva essere Adesso, infatti, proprio per questo motivo, i dubbi sono, ok, perché ce l'ha fatto rivedere? C'è qualcosa che non vedremo? C'è qualche altro cut content? C'è qualcosa in questo trailer che è stato trasformato da cazzo in, in scena che avviene in tempo reale in una mappa, a, diciamo, autonomamente? Dov'è? No? Il, la separazione tra contenuto e pubblicità che cosa è successo? c'è qualcosa di fasullo in questo trailer? c'è qualcosa che è stato tagliato in questo trailer? insomma le cose cambiano no? le cose cambiano e non vi dirò nulla fino alla fine di questa live semplicemente siamo arrivati a questo trailer non a caso Tut, tutto according to Keikaku detto ciò 
Quindi, Eli ha preso il volo, letteralmente, come dice il commento a schermo. Siamo nel menu principale. Ho fatto qualche side ops di nascosto per mandare avanti il tempo affinché la trama prosegua. E invito tutti a ricordarsi qualcosa che fece accendere la chat tempo addietro, coloro i quali non erano blind. Ossia, c'è stata una nuova epidemia a Motherbase. Questa epidemia purtroppo è più grave del previsto e contemporaneamente non se ne conosce la fonte. C'è qualcosa di molto macabro in quello che sta per accadere. Ma Miller and Company hanno cercato di mandare una, sal una diciamo, mh, unità di soccorso nel luogo dove è avvenuto l'incidente. Non è mai tornata. Non è mai tornata. A questo punto ci hanno richiamato. Boss deve dare un'occhiata. What are you? There's no need for that. We can't afford to lose anyone else. We have no idea what's going on exactly. in there. Exactly. Anyone still alive is at their breaking point. Last thing we need is another unit storming in. No telling how they'd react. Hmm. Fine. First off, check how much the infection has spread. Rescue comes next, after we know the situation. When you're ready to move, just use the iDroid. Ora è arrivato il momento di ascoltare alcune delle audiocassette più importanti di The Phantom Pain, non proprio le più semplici da sopportare. Non abbiamo idea why the parasite è up again. I thought we took care of it. We need more information. Find out what's going on, boss. Select the mission on your iDroid. What was your goal in having the children repair Sahelanthropus? I just answered their questions. I had no idea they would actually try to fix it. I mean, can you imagine a child piloting it? Oh, sure. Easily. It wouldn't work. Well, I bet it's just like riding a bike. I said it didn't work. It... Who did you try? I, I didn't. Did you put your son in it? Uh, we never did that. His name was, uh, Hal, wasn't it? I, I thought you said you never saw his face. But you made him pilot Sahelanthropus. You used him in your experiments. He wanted to get in. <sighs> It was such a short time we had. So he was with you. We were happy. You're still happy now. Changing your lies to suit the listener and getting by slipping through the cracks. Building layer upon layer of convenient stories until nothing means anything to you anymore. You're happy all the time, because you don't even notice you're doing it. Think hard. Who are you, really? You're not a victim, and you're not the silent majority. You're a perpetrator and a petty hypocrite. The real world doesn't make you suffer. It's the other way around. Capite? 
Hal Hemerick, questo bambino, come può essere cresciuto? E che uomo è Yui? I bambini terribili, no? Eccoci qua. Abbiamo fatto un test del DNA per compararlo a noi. Ocelot è preoccupato che ovviamente il nostro caro piccolo Liquid possa trattarsi di essere proprio uno, degli uno dei risultati degli esperimenti che sono stati fatti alle spalle di John. Boss, we've got the results of Eli's genetic tests. We can finally put this worry behind us. We used the PCR technique and conducted DNA fingerprinting of the copied DNA sequences. Neither is mainstream science yet, but the concepts and procedures are sound. Both tests say there is 0% chance that the two of you are blood relatives, meaning the results are negative. He's not your son, nor is he your clone. He's just another person. It was 12 years ago that Zero made plans to clone you. Eli's age and appearance certainly are a good fit. I admit the first time I saw him, I did a double take. But it looks like we were worried for nothing. Eli isn't your clone. Though you might still have one somewhere out there. But if Eli isn't the boss's clone, why does he seem so obsessed with him? Not to mention having one hell of an attitude for his age. I don't know. Learning the truth about himself, cursing the fact he's a clone, bearing a grudge against selfish adults, and coming to hate who he was cloned from. Big boss. If that were really the case, I could understand it. I might even feel a bit sorry for him. <clears throat> But no clone could have a totally different DNA fingerprint. And the test left no room for error. You yourself were there when we drew Eli's blood sample. Come to think of it, when we went to OKB Zero, he'd snuck onto a chopper and was there. Yeah. He was acting strange even then. Or actually from a little before that time. That was exactly when we began these tests. Maybe he suspected something when we drew the sample, not knowing what we were doing to him, and becoming mistrustful of us. Hard to say. Eli's had an attitude problem from day one. So what is he then? Well, if he's gonna tell us that himself, We'll need to get him to open up more first. Questa è chiaramente una delle più importanti audiocassette del titolo. È estremamente affascinante. Quando l'ascoltai la prima volta, fui deluso. Fui confuso e deluso. Ma come? È così ovvio. C'è qualcosa che non torna, quindi? Ecco... Questo vi farà un po' male, immagino, ma... Quando io l'ho ascoltata la prima volta, non sapevo che la partenza di Eli fosse l'ultima cosa che avrei mai visto di lui. E quindi questa linea narrativa che fine fa? Cosa voleva scrivere Hideo Kojima? Perché qualcuno di così simile al Liquid è così tanto diverso da noi? Già... Oh bene, riparleremo. Quando tutto sarà finito. Per ora. Oh, oh sì! Orion, sì. Scompare e basta. Ve l'ho detto, la bugia era piccola. Rimane esattamente così. Sì. Esatto. Sì. No scherzi. No bugie questa volta. Già. Eh? Ma facciamo un passo indietro. Perché prima che loro scappassero... Sarà pur successo qualcosa finché decidessero di farlo. Boss, we gave Ralph, that kid who died in the accident, a burial at sea. The man in charge of that facility has been severely punished. But ever since, the kids have been acting strange. 
It's obvious they've lost their trust in adults. I was getting reports of them ignoring the staff, or getting insolent, and even violent. And a few days later, several of the kids did a disappearing act. They snuck into choppers and shipping containers and got off base. Why? Your guess is as good as mine. These kids were born in a war zone, and forced to grow up as war fighters. If they're left alone, war is how they'll die. But I thought we showed them there are other reasons to live. I never liked having children on Mother Base. But the thought of them going back to the battlefield and picking up their old lifestyle is something I can't stomach. It makes me think of Chico, nine years ago. We have to get those kids back. Hell, they know too much about our operation. I never expected even the kids to betray us. Snake, you remember the White Mamba? Of course, he's been going by Eli since we brought him on base. He was the leader of the child soldier unit we took out of that village and into our protection. Well, according to the kids you brought back here, all the escapees were especially close to Eli. There's reason to suspect he's behind all six escapes. We've already detained him. I'll be questioning him shortly. Wait, wait. You'll be? Ocelot. You're incapable of taking an impartial stance with those kids. Question them all you want. It'll get you nowhere. Ocelot, you get too many kicks from your art of interrogation. It's not a matter of art. It's about quick, minimal strokes of psychological warfare. That's what gets the answers. And it's the best way to keep both questioner and subject safe. The risks only increase the more an interrogation drags on. At that point, it causes as much pain to the inflictor as the inflicted. Huh. Like I said, too many kicks. What I'm trying to tell you is we need quick results. Otherwise, it'll be too little, too late. I know that. And besides, I know the subject. I won't go overboard with a kid. Forget it. You're not needed. Snake, I want to question the other kids too. Be sure to bring them all back. Snake, about the escaped children. Eli confessed. The way he tells it, they wanted to go back to the battlefield. Don't rob them of their freedom, he said. If you bring them all back, there will be consequences. <sighs> Next to be asking for our surrender. Consequences? What consequences? No idea. That's all I have for now. You're too attached to those kids. Stop protecting Eli. Listen to yourself. Let me question him, and we'll get some real answers. Not necessary. I'll report as and when. Boss, we found weapons in the children's section of the living quarters. As you know, weapons are strictly off-limits. We've got some rule breakers. The weapons we found were handmade. Blades ground out of knives and forks, a couple of bow guns built out of scrap, and explosives made using detergents. And get this, the explosives were tightly packed with nails. The kids put the blame on, you guessed it, Eli. I guess that's what he meant by consequences. I questioned him about it, but this time he claimed they want to be put out on missions. Send us to the battlefield, he says. Miller, enough is enough. You've protected him too much already. It's my turn to question him. Protected? What Eli's doing is issuing a threat. Comply with my demands or I'll respond with force. But it'll be war at this rate. Forks and soap aren't gonna kill us, but some of them will end up dead. Is that what you want? <sighs> Now, I hate to say it, but they want to be on the battlefield. It's time you gave up this fantasy. Eli, he said they'd rise up against us if we bring the last kid back. There, you see? Ignore his demands. Don't let him return to quarters. That attitude is contagious. We lose control over them for good. For the time being, we've confiscated those handmade weapons. We're bumping up security and the number of psychiatric counselors. As for Eli, he needs some very special care. You mean solitary? Well, we can't leave him in contact with the other kids. If you won't do it, I will. Boss, keep working on extracting those kids. 
The kids you brought back to base have laid out the situation. They all escaped to each of their home villages, or were trying to get home, and lost their way. Not that homesickness is gonna explain everything we've seen. Each of their home villages? They were trying to raise troops for the rebellion. You really think these kids have an armed uprising in them? You read the report of the security team member who had a rock thrown at him. There'll be a riot if we don't do something. And Miller, this is because you didn't act fast enough. Fine. I'll admit you were right this time. <sighs> Seal off the kids' quarters from outside contact before it's too late. All right. Eli said his rebellion would start when the last kid is brought back, right? You better be ready to meet him head on if it really happens. Yeah. You should have left it to me in the first place. Boss, they're just kid... We have a responsibility to see that those kids make it. It's not about feeling protective or the pros and cons. I hate kids. That's exactly what I heard from the people who raised me. People who abandoned me, more like. That's the spark that kept me going, you know? I wanted to show those adults what I was made of. Wanted to get back at them one day. But before I knew it, I was all grown up. Never saw it coming. All of a sudden, people treated me as an adult. Some adult I turned out to be. But I feel like if my life had been different, if the adults I knew had been different, I could have grown up better. Yeah, that's it, all right. I wanted to use those kids to test that theory. That's all this was. From their point of view, I'm no different from the assholes who gave me a hard time. When this is all blown over, I'll talk it out with them. If that's still possible. Boss, there are still kids out there. Bring them back safe. Boss, it's me. Eli's revealed what he wants. He wants to speak with you. With Big Boss. He just said, bring my father here. Eli's too smart for his own good. No way to tell what he's thinking. All we know for sure is his men are important to him. That means we can use the escaped kids as leverage in any negotiation. Once you've brought the last one back, I'll interrogate him. If the kids do rise up, we'll meet them full force. End of story. I didn't want things to turn out like this. We could have prevented it, but it's too late now. If Eli means to take this all the way, he's gonna force us to do the same. Boss, go get that last kid. You know, when you brought back all the child soldiers who escaped, Eli knew they'd returned. Needless to say, nobody said a word to him. I guess they got a message to him somehow. Eli wasn't put in the corner in time out. He was locked up in that room, completely cut off from the outside world. Then how do you find out? It's only one possibility I can think of. The Soviet Union has been researching military applications for psi phenomena. Psi? Things like psychokinesis and ESP, extrasensory perception. You mean moving objects without touching them? Knowing what card somebody's holding up? Psychic powers? Come on. I thought that was just another bunch of disinformation aimed at the West. Just bear with me a second. One type of ESP is telepathy. It's the ability to know another person's thoughts through nonverbal means. You're saying Eli read our minds? It's the only idea that doesn't involve someone getting to him. <sighs> Ocelot. Look, psi research isn't some hocus pocus. It's all evidence-based, scientific. There's gotta be another explanation. Maybe one of the kids stuck a note to your back. I hope that's the case. But I am convinced that they have, or Eli has, a connection to some force we have yet to identify. You better watch yourself, boss. How am I supposed to do that? If he is depending on something for help, well, that's his Achilles heel. If you can figure out what that something is, you might be able to use it against him. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, and the medical team is looking after the kids left on Mother Base. For the moment, they don't seem too panicked. But boss, get this. Eli got those kids to plot their armed uprising as a diversion. Also, he could steal Sahalanthropus and escape. That brat got us good. Set us up and knocked us down. And then there's that mystery kid who was with Eli. Those two working together, I'd say things won't be over for a long time yet. 
invece sono finite Però Questi audio sono importantissimi Ne abbiamo altri da ascoltare Ma questi verranno rimandati a più in là Eli ha detto Portatemi mio padre Quindi è convinto E pensa Che Big Boss sia suo padre Ma non è così quindi ci sono diverse domande che sorgono. C'è un dettaglio però. Vi ricordate Cold Talker? Eyes on Kazuhira. Sappiamo che Miller a un certo punto prenderà una certa strada. Una strada che lo porterà a essere ucciso da Liquid tre, tre giorni prima Metal Gear Solid. No? Una sorta di tradimento potremmo chiamarlo. Si può chiamare così. Per quale motivo però avrebbe dovuto in qualche modo falsificare O in... Non lo so uh, Mentire Su quello che stava facendo C'era anche Ocelot quando hanno preso il sangue di Eli Come avrebbe potuto e perché mai Proteggere da questo legame Di complotto Tale è la Zenfant Terrible Hmm Hmm non sono qui per rispondere a delle domande Sono qui per farvi capire Quali possono essere quelle da porsi Però se il DNA dice che non è suo padre Non è suo padre, punto Ora Se si rivelasse vero Che colui il quale si fa chiamare Liquid Snake non è davvero un clone di Big Boss troppe cose non tornerebbero? forse no il suo codice genetico non avrebbe certamente potuto aprire le porte dei Patriots in Guns no? però cos'è? Big Mama, Eva Tatiana avrebbe mai mentito? ha parlato di Liquid come suo figlio? Quante domande, eh? Tempo al tempo, ragazzi. Esatto, Alessio VIII. Quella è la domanda giusta. Fox Die. Se Fox Die ha ucciso Liquid, era per forza identico a Solid. E quindi? Oi, 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 oi. Vi guiderò in questi ultimi passi, ma... Per ora... Concentratevi. Ok? Ora. Please select a mission. Allora Grazie Matteo E sono felice che questa esperienza sia così importante per voi E che come dica tu Non la dimenticherete Grazie di cuore davvero Sì frasasasa. Ora toglierò la mia facecam E ingrandirò la chat Esattamente come alla fine di Guns of the Patriots, chiederò alla chat di ragionare allo stesso modo. Cercate di far godere l'ultimo vero momento della Metal Gear Saga al meglio possibile, ok?
Boss, let's go over the situation again. We've got another parasite outbreak in the laboratory on the quarantine platform. What is this? No idea. Snake. We've just had a transmission from inside. Here's the audio. Transmission boss. Find our man. You never know.
is it? Something sweet. I can smell it even through the mask. The rescue team reported that too. Said it smelled like ripe fruit. We cannot allow the infection to spread. If anyone shows symptoms, he must put them out of their misery. That includes me.
fun. Thank you. He's wearing a mask. He's part of the rescue team. Looks like he's not the one who sent the message. I'd like to hear what he has to say, but you need to keep going. Sorry. Radio got shut up when I... Analysis complete. ...when we entered. But I couldn't bring myself to shoot back. Like you said, boss. Never point a weapon at one of your own. I'll be watching. Another transmission. Complete. What the hell happened? Oh. At least you're okay. What's going on? I win. I'm no snail. Damn it. Send the transmission. Seems like he had a way of IDing who's symptomatic. But what was he trying to say? Snail. Yes, of course. It all makes sense now. Do not let anyone showing symptoms get outside. 
As infection progresses, it triggers an overwhelming urge to get out in the open. That's the parasite controlling them. Once outside, the birds will feed on infected bodies, spreading the parasite on land. Nobody asked for your opinion. Oh, 
located. Examine him with those goggles. Analysis complete. Carry the rescue team member to the exit. He's the only one not infected. Updated. Got a survivor. Unlock the door. Boy. I... I don't think I made it after all. What? You just checked him. Could it have progressed this quickly? Boss, take another look at him with the goggles.
No, niente grado per questa. Ricordatevi sempre però che il videogioco è uno strumento per bimbi e che la violenza è un difetto che va edulcorato nel medium. Perché utile solo a sfogare bassi istinti di esseri mediocri, giusto? Non vi sto neanche a dire cosa sarà questo tipo di emissione in un'anima del guerriero. Ve lo ricordate John, vero? In Snake Eater intendo. Quando spiegava ad Eva le specifiche dell'arma, esatto. Ecco, questi dettagli, questa forma di discesa verso il demone, il fatto che lui abbia salvato quei bambini e quei bambini lo abbiano tradito in questo modo, Yui, di cui ancora non sapete proprio tutto, Yui che cerca di avere una sorta di rivincita morale, <ride> già, capite quanto è effettivamente immenso quello che accade qui e quello che lo porterà a farsi chiamare poi Saladino e a salvare altri giovani no? di cui abbiamo conosciuto le storie e in buona parte concluso le vite It's your fault! They're dead because of you! What? He's right. I killed them with my own hands. They were on your side! I'm on your side! And you turned them all to ashes! They wanted you to shoot. It was that or be burned alive. Come on. Let's get this over with. Wait.
I won't scatter your sorrow to the heartless sea. I will always be with you. Plant your roots in me. them at sea. What then? We'll make diamonds from their ashes. Take them into battle with us. A shining light to our brothers in arms. Even in death. Everyone I've looked at is. 
Infection with this parasite causes a high fever in the pharynx. I have modified a pair of night vision goggles to react only to this temperature range. With these goggles, you can identify who is infected. Other infected will, like me, feel compelled to make it outside. If the ravens get their meal, they'll head for land next. That cannot be allowed to happen. Un ragazzo ha detto, questa cassetta la riesco a vedere con gli, occhi, con gli occhi della mente. E questo è qualcosa che dovrete fare molto presto. Non stanotte, ma presto. Sarà la chiave del finale di questo capitolo di Phantom Pain. C'è qualcosa altro. I symptomatic infected in the laboratory all wanted to get outside. Even knowing there was napalm waiting for them out there. You said the parasites made the Mac that way. But parasites controlling humans. Is it possible? Parasites altering the host's behavior is a common occurrence in the world of nature. Long ago, the vocal cord parasites had this ability. But even I never foresaw they might control humans. Until I heard the things your man said. You mean the researcher on the top floor? The bit about, I'm not a snail? Yes. Among parasitic worms, there is a genus called Leucochloridium that uses snails as intermediary hosts. As you know, snails prefer dark, gloomy environments. But once parasitized by Leucochloridium, They desire to be in the light. And that is not all. The parasitic worms thrust themselves into the snail's antennae, making them swell to abnormal size. The snail, meanwhile, frantically wiggles its antennae as the parasites squirm inside. The swollen, wriggling antennae soon resemble caterpillars. I don't get it. It is so they can be eaten by birds. Leucochloridium needs a bird as its definitive host to breed. They require their snail host to be snapped up by a predator. So they make the humble snail appear to be a delicious caterpillar and lead it to somewhere in open sight. So you mean the staff trying to get outside was so the birds could pick at them. The parasites altered their mental state, making them crave higher places and to be outdoors. I can only surmise that both the Volbachia and the parasites mutated before the ancestors of the vocal cord parasites infected humans. Their hosts were birds. What we saw in the laboratory was some throwback to that time. The parasites attempting to make birds their intermediary hosts. It sounds insane. A prey mantis that is host to a parasitic hair worm will dive into water and drown itself. Just so the hair worm can lay its eggs in water. Rats infected with Toxoplasma gondii lose their instinctive caution and run right up to cats. Just some of the many ways parasites control the host. But we're humans. Surely our minds are too complex for that. I thought just the same. Free will is what makes us human. So it never occurred to me that the parasites could be controlling the symptomatic. But the mood, the will of a person can be easily affected by the balance of their cerebral substances. Take the toxoplasma I mentioned. It does infect humans, and it is thought the infected develop a more reckless attitude. Ugh. But to think that mutations occurred in both the Walbachia and its parasite hosts... Your observation is most apt. Both mutations occurring at once indicates the presence of a powerful mutagen. I see. 
Keep working on narrowing down what it was. E così abbiamo anche approfondito quella frase detta dal sopravvissuto finché lo è stato, no? Allora, nel mentre Quiet continua il suo osservamento di cintura, noi possiamo andare avanti, ok? Mission come vi ho detto di Emmerich avremmo avuto modo di parlare molto spesso il miglior personaggio di The Phantom Pain continuo a ripeterlo e come dice il buon utente Leonhardt è lui il vero parassita preparatevi a questo well doctor I have the report on the incident at the quarantine facility Assuming the vocal cord parasite evolved, I'm sorry, underwent a mutation. The only plausible explanations are exposure to some high concentration mutagen or radiation. Now, as you know, some of the staff at the quarantine facility were infected with the parasites. The Wolbachia prevented them from copulating, but the parasites themselves can't be removed from their host's vocal cords. Once you're infected with Skullface's parting gift. You're stuck with it. The researchers regularly used X-ray equipment to monitor the parasites in their throats. No problem there, they kept a close eye on the radiation doses. But that equipment didn't just give off X-rays. It was also emitting beta rays. Even though that's unnecessary for the scans. See, beta rays have far worse effects on DNA than X-rays. Meaning the only logical conclusion is that someone added in a beta ray emitter to trigger a mutation. Those beta rays leaked out from inside the equipment. Because the emitter was retrofitted, the shielding was inadequate. And the person who ordered and inspected the equipment was you, Doctor. That makes you the only person with the opportunity to install that emitter. So now you're saying I sabotage medical equipment for some wild plan to make the vocal cord parasite kill everyone? Or maybe you thought it'd reveal a way to treat the parasite without using the Wolbachia. With that much to barter, I suppose some people would welcome even a pathetic cur like you. Just stop it! You'd have no shortage of buyers, but most would be happy with just the parasite. You wouldn't need to offer anything else. However, If that buyer already knew about the parasite, they'd also know that by itself, it's no longer the ultimate bargaining chip it once was. To sell to that buyer, you need to throw in a bonus. A way to one-up it. There's only one buyer who'd be after that. <laughs> Emmerich, we record all communications on Mother Base. That includes radio transmissions to and from homemade devices. You've been in frequent contact with people in America. A private biotech company. A client of which is DARPA. And they are connected to Cypher. You made a deal with Cypher. You offered them a new parasite in exchange for your safety. This is the only place in the world where the vocal cord parasite still exists. And you used it as a testing ground. Tried to resurrect their bioweapon. But your plan to obtain the parasite has failed. Your bullshit ends now. And don't think you're leaving here alive. Wait, wait, what are you talking about? Just what do you plan to do? Present the charges against you and render an appropriate punishment. You're gonna put me on trial? <laughs> Call it what you like. What's the meaning of this? Out of here. All of you. Back to your posts. No, hang on. Huey has killed their comrades and interfered with their lives. They've had all they can take. Kill, Kill that son of a bitch! Kill her! Kill her! Stop! This is insane! You have no evidence! 
confidence whatsoever. You say you're an army free from government. You talk big about being a nation unto yourselves. But, but from the outside, you're just thugs, rebels, a militia, terrorists, an unhinged threat to society. You're nothing but a, a bunch of psychopaths. You're? So you're not with us? N no, I, I didn't... I thought we were on the same side. That's too bad. I, I didn't mean... <sighs> Men, you will have justice. But our organization, the boss's organization, is built on order and reason. There will be no lynch mob. So stand down for today. We will gather all the evidence of this man's crimes. And then... Ovviamente, ragazzi, io lo interrompo. Per chi non conosce l'inglese, non ha detto no, non lo sono. Stava balbettando sul no, non volevo. No, non, non, è, non era quello che intende. Non è... Ok. He will be tried. Dismiss. What do you think you're doing? Go ahead and execute me. It'll be murder in the eyes of the world. You've lost your minds. Don't you get it? You're seeing phantoms. Just look at that dog. No. You named him D-Dog, but it's obvious anyone could see that's a wolf. Because you're all a bunch of wild dogs. You wanted to believe he was too, to feel some connection, to fight your loneliness. You wanted something to cling to, to prove you deserve to be alive. You wanted to forget the death, your sins, so you'd cling on to dogs, or wolves, or even Big Boss. The boss is the same, isn't he? Every one of you is alone. That's why you suspect your own. I know, because I do the same. I'm one of you too. Alone. Open your eyes. What you're doing is murder, plain and simple. All you ever create is war. War and violence can never lead to peace! Please select a landing heading to Mother Base. Sotto sotto non sembra avere poi tutti, 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 tutti i torti, eh? Eh? Boss, you're there. We have a problem. The staff have found out everything that Emmerich's been up to. They're right on the edge. I need you to intervene before things get out of control. Get back to Mother Base ASAP. Nine years ago, this man acted as accomplice to the attack on Mother Base. He then provided support to Skullface. Conspiring with Eli, he repaired Sohalanthropus in secret. His research materials caused the leak at the quarantine facility, which in turn caused the Walbachia mutation, letting the parasites off their chains. We lost a lot of good men. He also stands accused of murdering one of his own family. Hiding the body. I haven't killed anyone. The rest is all wrong, too. The inspection was supposed to help everyone. I sacrificed myself for my companions just as much as any of you. Why won't you believe me? The prosecution calls a witness. Strange Love's gravestone, haunted by her phantom. 
It's just a machine. Machine. You forced your own son into the cockpit of a Metal Gear, a test subject. How? His mother had to hide him away, and for that you locked her in that coffin. No! She, she did it herself! It was suicide! And even if I did, what right do you have? There's more. We have you to tell us everything you've done, everything you've thought, all this time. Nine years ago, you agreed to the inspection in return for Cypher's guarantee that you'd be spared. I thought it was real! We've reviewed into everything else that's happened since you arrived here. Please. Guilty! All counts. Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! We exist outside the law. What should we do, boss? Just give the order. We'll handle the rest. Prepare a life raft. Big enough for one. Food and water, too. Boss. He's leaving. You... He's responsible for... For all of this! Think of all the men! He didn't lose a damn thing! This is the enemy! And he's here on his knees! Boss. You are right. He is not one of us. But we are not responsible to judge an enemy. He leaves Mother Base, and that'll be the end of it. Can't discard your phantoms forever, Doctor. Son of a bitch will make it, you know. I can see it now. In no time, he'll be telling tales about the black hearted diamond dogs. The shining white knight, blabbering on about our injustice, hiding behind his fool's idea of morality. And all the other fools will stand around, nodding with every word he says. No. One day he'll see through the lies he's built up, realize what kind of man he really is. What goes around comes around. You can't run from yourself forever.
Bene. Eccola. Tutto secondo i piani. Sappiamo benissimo la fine che farà Huey Hemerich, no? Ora assume anche molto più senso il fatto che neghi. Molto più senso. Così come assume molto più senso quello che è la psicologia e le psicosi di Hal. Già. Ha buttato via le protesi perché stava affondando. Pesano troppo. È arrivato il momento di chiudere questa live. Chi ha capito che tipo d'uomo e in qualche modo anche in questo caso narratore sono sa già come andrà a finire. E andrà a finire con me che tolgo la fesca un'ultima volta. Oggi. Side ops list updated. Boss, maybe you realize by now, but updated. There is no other way to say it. Quiet's gone. She pulled her camo stun and stowed away on a departing chopper. After pinpointing which she took, we figured out her destination. Afghanistan. Get after her. Only you can do this. Boss, I told you this would happen. I wish I could say good riddance. But Quiet knows too much about us. We can't just leave her out there. Remember what you told me when she first got here. One of these days, we're gonna have to kill her. When the time comes, I'll pull the trigger. I'd say that time has come. Rain approaching. Le cose stanno andando parecchio male, non trovate? Molto male. Peggio che mai. Per ora ascoltate questo. I want to thank you, Code Talker. You're pinpointing the cause of the vocal cord parasites mutation enabled us to purge an enemy from Mother Base. You mean that scientist? Yeah, I was convinced he betrayed us, but I was wrong. He was never on our side to begin with. So ultimately there was no traitor among us. And yet I made everyone distrustful with my talk of spies. The end result being men turning on each other in the laboratory. You must not blame yourself. They were all infected with the mutated strain. The outcome would have been the same. You know, we defeated Skullface, but it didn't lessen our pain. It's a pain we'll never be rid of. I see that now, but I thought I could burn it away. In the end, all I burned was our own men. Infectious diseases. Parasites. Without such foreign enemies, the immune system will start attacking the body, developing allergies and autoimmune diseases. The same is true of organizations. You're right. But I do not deserve to rebuke you. My desire to retaliate against the English language is what attracted me to the vocal cord parasites in the first place. Had it not been for that, I would never have been used by Skullface. We both allowed revenge to crawl into our minds and lay its eggs. Sahelanthropus will unleash that thirst unto the future. How long are we going to be tormented by what he left behind? Oh. There is no choice but to live with that pain. Be symbiotic with our vengeful nature. Whatever we do, We must not allow that thirst for revenge to control us. Quanti anni, ragazzi? Alla fine del mio progetto sulla Metal Gear Saga. Quanto durerà l'eredità del Sahel Anthropus? Ditemi quel numero. Sono sicuro che ce la fate. 30 anni. Bravissimi. Il primo commento, non un errore. 30 anni. Visto ragazzi? Anche voi siete stati perfetti. Mi sono fatto un complimento, non intendevo dire che sono perfetto o che è stato perfetto questo progetto perché non lo è stato, ma è stato ottimo. In tanti momenti, nonostante la mia autocritica lo posso dire, ottimo. 
e non è ancora finita stasera però <ride> vi ricordate quando vi ho detto che c'erano delle audiocassette difficili da sentire? non parlavo di noia non parlavo di noia no per niente per niente Tutto il mio discorso, tutto il mio racconto, la mia intera forma di build up e preparazione al personaggio di Yui Hemerich era per questo momento, non per gli scorsi. Il finale è il 70% di un'opera. Credetemi, lo sarà anche di questo mio piccolo grande progetto sulla Metal Gear Saga. Abbiate fiducia in me. Ma stasera chiudiamo Yui. E non solo. Buonanotte ragazzi. Non andate via. O come direbbe un caro amico. Let down your guard. losing an arm. Clouds approaching. you, Joy. I know you can. You're recording all of this. Deep down, it's some memory board he'll never find. Duplicating it. Burying it under heaps of meaningless code. <laughs> anyway, I guess... Say what needs to be said. I can still do that much. Talk to you. Even if I can't face you. Even if there's a heaven. Even if you're waiting there. I don't deserve to see you again. I don't deserve to love you. I signed up for Zero's plan. Even now that he's halfway to dead, his plan lives on, leeching away at the wall. Your strength to make it happen. In using you, I.
put the world in his palm. Once. And for all. Zero. Zero. Or whoever it is who's taken his name. They found me. After the Caribbean. They made me simulate his will. So that even after the body was gone, that will would keep the world turning the way they wanted. I had no choice. They dredged Lago Corsibolca, pulled up your phantom forced me to revive and modify you. I thought I could bring you back, but in the end, I sold your will to him. Now this part is just one big shell. A husk. <laughs> Your phantom's no longer here. As for me, everything I touch turns to ashes. I could never make anyone happy. And now I'll never see my son again. But, at least Hal's free from his father's hands. Me, with child, can you imagine? I wonder how you took the news. Were you jealous? I knew what I was doing. If I could pass your will onto a child I carried, my genes, your meme, a father would be irrelevant. If I did that, that child would be ours. I've been a fool. Pride, conceit, baseless theories. Of course, I couldn't see through the dream. The false you. I created. I only wanted to pass your will on to the next generation. But Zero took it away. And now I haven't just lost you. I've lost my Forgive the mother who couldn't protect you. The one who let them take it all away from us. Oh. Oh. There's still hope. You, the one he took away. You'll never break your will. The will to make this world the way you saw it could be. I buried code, just to be sure. Inside of you, there is an egg, 
And when someone finds it, when they crack it, there'll be nothing left to stop you. The world you envisioned will become a reality. Yeah. 